What is up boys? It is Caleb Hammett, AKA the Drip King back with another video today. You guys have been absolutely blowing up the videos where I react to games that I've played in. I did my army game, which is the first game of my college career, AKA my redshirt freshman year. And then the last video I went through my Delaware game, which is a game that went all the way down to the wire and the best game of my college career so far. But today we are gonna be reacting to my game against a PLL pro. If you guys are wondering what I mean by that, no, this is not clickbait. I played a face-off guy this past season that was drafted into the PLL for the PLL Archers. His name is Frankie Labetti. Labs. Frankie Lab scores! He's an absolute stud. Shout out Frankie. He's putting the CAA on the map. I saw him score a goal last game for the Archers, but I thought I would react to my full game against him. Before we get into the video, I just want to talk about what my thoughts were going into this game. I always like to do this before I go into these reactions. So I knew that he was going to be probably one of the hardest guys that I played all year. Number one, he's a freak athlete. Number two, he's got quick hands. He was an offensive threat and he was good on the clamp and countering. So I knew it was going to be a really tough battle. Going into this game, I think me and him were neck and neck for first and second in the conference, face-off percentage wise. So this was a big game for me and I know it was a big game for him too. So we will get right into it. So here's the first face off of the game right here. Also we're wearing the all white uniforms. I absolutely love those. And this game we had the UMass vintage helmets on. I'm telling you those were the most style helmets we wore all year. I wish we more, wore more than one game so I could get some nicer Instagram pics with them. But without further ado, let's get right into the first face off. So the first face off of the game right here, my mindset was just pretty much try and win the clamp and then go from there. So I got the clamp and he did a really good job just countering me, getting under. I kind of popped the ball out into the middle of nowhere and we ended up losing the ball here. So tough way to start the game, obviously, but it was only the first face off. So I, second face off of the game here, I'm just going for the clamp again. I win the clamp and then I go forward, but I shoot it a little bit too far. But thankfully we get bailed out with a call from the ref, I think. Yep, and we get the ball. So it's currently one to one on the faceoffs. My initial reaction to him was he had pretty good hand speed, but he was very, very strong and very, very athletic. So I knew this game for me, I was really gonna have to focus on exiting, ex exiting the ball really cleanly. So at this point we're down two goals. They scored two quick goals. So it's two quick faceoffs to start off the game. On this one here, I completely lose the clamp but a very rare occasion for me, I go for a shovel and it comes out really cleanly. Let me play that back. So as you see, I get absolutely smoked on the clamp and then I come back for that shovel, I get it out and then I think we ended up losing this ball. Yeah, I fall on the ground and then Fairfield just gets a good break. So at this point, I think it's two face-offs to one for Fairfield. Yeah, so this face-off was actually crazy. I had no idea what happened. We were going down and the ref blew the whistle before he even went down and he gave me the win. And I mean, I wasn't gonna complain. I kept my mouth shut and I was happy, but the Fairfield wing actually came in too early and lost a face-off. So I'm sorry to Frankie on Fairfield. That is probably the worst feeling as a face-off guy. But as you can see by my face here, I had literally no idea what was going on. Also, peep the eye black game, boys. It was fire. So this next face-off, I went early, and at this point, there were like five early face-offs. Not early violations, but we had five face-offs already in the first quarter. So I knew it was gonna be a high-scoring game, and I went early, so that definitely did not help. Maybe it was just a makeup call for the last face-off. So on this next face-off, I knew I couldn't go early, so I had my first really clean win of the game. For whatever reason, I thought it would be a good idea to try to go to the net here and score, but you guys know how that went with me. So I go to the net. I think I'm Paul Rabel. I lose the ball. I kind of take out that kid's legs accidentally, and I think they should have probably called a flag on that, but they let it play. So I got the ground ball back and then I threw it up. So we got possession. It was not pretty. If I were smarter, I would have just given it right to my attackman. But once again, I wanted that first goal, but of course it didn't happen. So this next face off, I win the clamp, then I go for a little right pop. I get tripped up, but I get the ball away to the wing. So another clean win. At this point, I feel like I was starting to get my groove a little bit, settling in with the clamp. 
this face off was the other face off guy for UMass in there. So I'll skip that one. So now I think this is the first face off of the second quarter and I went early. Hate to see that. I'm not going to break these face offs down as long as I usually do just because there were 30 face offs this game. So I don't want to make an hour long video for you guys. So right here we have the second face off of the second quarter. So we tie up a little bit and I rip a piece out and then I get that fast break forward. And I thought I could score, but that was a possession shot. I swear I wasn't trying to put that on net. So got the clean win though, that's all that matters. So this next face off, oh my God, it hurts me to watch this. I felt really good on the clamp and before the whistle, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna quick clamp forward, get a fast break or maybe even a goal. Let me play this back, you guys will see. So I have my best clamp of the day. I completely smoke the whistle and I just leave the ball behind me. So when the clamp, pull it and completely leave the ball and give them a fast break. So that was literally the worst case scenario. So coming in after that face off, I knew I needed to be smarter with the ball. So I was going against another face off guy. He was going straight for the counter. So I went for a little right pop and then moved the ball away. And then the following face off, I felt really good with my clamp. So I went for a little quick clamp and then a right pop back. And I got absolutely laid out. Yes, I was fine. Did I sell the call a little bit? Probably a little bit, but we did get the call and we went man up from this. Or maybe it was, I think it was man up, yeah. So look at this, go for the ground ball and absolutely get laid out. And yep, that's me lying on my stomach right on the ground there. But it's a face off win, so that's all that matters. This next face off, I smoke the clamp and I go forward. And I think I wanted to go to the net, but at this point I was like, no way I'm doing that. So I just moved the ball. That is probably, that is probably my favorite way to win a face off. Just win the clamp and then just pop it forward like that and get the ball away and get off. So this is where I really think I started to find my groove in the game. I knew I was more dominant on the clamp. So I was really just trying to exit quick. And as I said, he's a phenomenal athlete. So I knew I had to be really good with my exits and get out really quickly. This next face off, I win the clamp and then I right pop it back. And then I just move the ball with a little rolling pass. At this point, we are up eight, six. Here I win the face off and he goes directly for the counter, literally just weight rooms me. And then I think we end up getting a call here. Yeah, so they call the flag on the other face off guy. Um, he didn't lay out our attackman, but I got bailed out with the win there. But at this point in the game, I think the Fairfield guy, Frankie, I kind of decided, he's like, you know what? I'm not having the most success on the clamp. So I'm going to start just countering. So he started going for this counter right off the whistle. And at first I was completely caught off guard. It was getting absolutely weight room. So you guys will see that in a little bit. So as you know, before the other face off guy was in the penalty box, so I was going against the backup here. I knew he wanted to go right for the counter. So this first one, I ended up scrapping up the ground ball and just move the ball right away. And then the following face off, I knew he was going to go for that quick counter. So I immediately told myself I was going to exit right off the whistle. So I go for a little quick clamp, exit back, and then I move the ball. And now their face off guy is back out from the box. So I'm going against him, get the clamp. And then, oh my God, I got absolutely weight rooms. There's no other way to put it. So if you guys watch here, I'll slow it down. I try to quick clamp. So I go for a quick clamp. I react really well and then I get completely weight roomed off the ball and he does a really good job going down and getting a really, really tough ground ball. So credit to him there. At this point of the game, it's 10 to seven in the third quarter, this face off right here, I win the clamp and I just go forward with it. And I can't lie, I wanted to go to the net, but this other face off guy was so much faster than me that he would always catch right up to me. So I couldn't even get a fast break. So the next face off, I win the clamp and then I go to one of my favorite exits, just the right pop back. And then I got so lucky here. I tried going for the shovel pass and it deflected off of Fairfield's stick and we ended up getting some transition and turn it over. I would say at this point, I was kind of the most dialed in I was all game. I won the clamp, went forward with it. And like I was saying, he was much, much faster than me. So this shouldn't even count as a face off win because I turned the ball over right away. I thought I could have tried to go to the net and he was just too quick and took the ball right out of my stick. So hate to see it. So we're still in the third quarter at this point. It's a 13 to 10 game, really high scoring. 
He does a really good job just absolutely weight rooming me. He made me look like a little boy, I can't even lie. This is what I was talking about earlier in the video. At this point, he knew I was gonna go for the clap, so he went right for that little swipe to a counter, and look at this. Absolutely bench presses me right off the ball, puts me on my butt, and Fairfield takes the ball away. So I think this was the part in the game where he realized he was having more success just countering me, so I needed to adjust, and let me tell you, it definitely took a few face-offs too. So this first one, I go for the clamp and I get absolutely weight roomed again. Like this is just, this is embarrassing for me to even watch. So I win the clamp, he completely just weight rooms me like a little boy, picks up the ball and I lose a face off. You can see I'm complaining to the ref, but I'm just mad that I'm getting weight roomed. So at this point, it's a 13 to 10 game. So I've taken like 20 something face offs. It's only the third quarter, so I am gassed. This one, I win the clamp and I go right back with it. The reason I did this on this one was because I knew that he was going for that quick counter, so I knew I had to get out early. And guys, look, I got some MIDI skills. I was getting trapped here, and look at this. It wasn't anything crazy. For a second, I thought about going to the net, but I got the ball away to the attack man. Look at those wheels. So it is now the fourth quarter. It's a 14 to 10 game, so really high scoring. First face off. He does the same thing, absolutely weight rooms me right off the ball and he wins the face off. So I need to adjust at this point. So this next face off, I go down, I win the clamp and I get out of there immediately. And they even called a violation on him for coming on the hands. I don't know if it was a great call or not, but at this point I knew that the second I clamped, I had to get out where I was gonna get weight room. So next face off here, I go for the clamp, and like I said, I was getting out really quick, and my wing bailed me out with a great ground ball, so got the win on that one. And then once again, I knew I wanted to get out quick, so I kind of did the same thing. And this one, it was kind of a little bit of a scrap. He did a good job mucking up the ball, but I kind of just kicked it out to myself. I'll play that back so you guys can see. But he did a good job getting on my hands, getting the ball out, and then I kind of just kicked the ball away. Got the ground ball, so we got another win here. And then there weren't many face-offs left at this point in the game. So this one right here, I won the clamp and I actually went TTL. So that's a through the leg exit if you guys didn't know. And I don't really usually do those that much, but it was pretty clean. And then right here was the last face-off of the game. I remember clamping the ball, won the clamp, pulled it forward. So he did a really great job scrapping the ball up here. But if you're wondering why he's in the PLL, it's because he does stuff like this. Look at that. This kid is an absolute freak athlete. Go, beats us on like a three to one ground ball. Absolutely crazy. But that was the last face off of the game. As you see us running off, we are absolutely winded. That was my full game playing a current PLL player. I, I love playing good talent. Um, and it's funny watching him play now thinking, oh, I played that guy. So it was a really good battle. He was definitely a very, very good face off guy, very athletic. But if you guys like these videos, please drop them in the comments, let me know. I love reacting to my games. So if you have any recommendations as to what game you want me to react to next, or even just what video you want me to make, please drop it in the comments. If you guys could drive, drop a like, a sub, a comment, literally anything that helps me so, so much. I'm trying to pump out these videos as much as I can, but Drip King is out. Peace, love you guys.